Well, in this area, there is no escaping the oil. You can smell it everywhere. You can even feel it in your throat. Take a look here into the Kalamazoo River. You can see the slick traveling down the waters. Hundreds of thousands of gallons of thick black oil oozes its way down the Kalamazoo River in the path of the slick animals ambushed by the sludge and homes that have stood unsoiled for decades. As of Tuesday night, concern the oil would reach a nearby lake. For people who live here, this is a nightmare with no end in sight. I don't believe it's true. It's just something that you wouldn't believe that would happen here. John LaForge lives about a half mile from the spot where the oil pipeline ruptured, his yard smothered. I can't live in my house because that thing's got a terrible odor in that. I don't know what they're going to do. 17 miles away in Battle Creek, dozens of lifelong residents gathered over bridges to watch oily blobs float down the river. My parents actually live in Soresco, just which is just two miles from where it broke. And they had to evacuate last night. They just couldn't take the smell and stuff. Some state officials are calling this one of the worst environmental disasters ever in the Midwest. All told, almost 850,000 gallons have leaked into the Kalamazoo River. The cause of the break is under investigation, though it has been sealed. State officials believe it started sometime in a creek near Marshall late Sunday night, but wasn't discovered until Monday. The company responsible for the pipeline and bridge energy based in Houston at a briefing Tuesday the governor criticized the company's response. There is a response in several places, but there are vast stretches where there is no response whatsoever. The company's CEO tells Action News Enbridge will pay for the damage. This is our responsibility. It's our mess. We're going to clean it up. We're going to help the families involved. And back out here, you can see the Enbridge cleanup crews working to scoop up this oil as quickly as they can. The governor says the EPA is running this cleanup. The state officials we talked to say they don't have the staffing to do this kind of work, so they are relying on Enbridge. There is no timeline right now as to when this will all be cleaned up. Three months at least, they're saying, before we'll see a big difference. Reporting from Battle Creek, Tom Waite, Channel 7 Action News.